All right, y'all, welcome to the show. We have a pretty cool one for you today. So I got a Ted Cruz conspiracy theory. I don't understand where he gets this from. And this is not just something I've heard from him. It's something I've heard from others. It's about Michelle Obama. And it seems to me to be utterly and shamelessly made up. So we'll talk about that. We have Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, actually moving forward with drafting a declaration of, of war against Mexico. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> we'll talk about that. We have Chris Christie gets challenged by an NBC host. Uh, he's, of course, been the absolute darling of liberal media because he goes after Trump so relentlessly, but they kind of turn the tables a little bit on him here. So that's interesting. And then we have um, NBC omitting Marianne Williamson from a conversation about how Biden is doing horribly in the polls and perhaps people want some challengers against him. Um, and then later on in the show, we have, oh, I like this story. It is Donald Trump congratulating and defending and supporting one of the single most corrupt Democrats of all time, which is, <laughs> that's really something. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. And you guys know the shameless plugs. Everybody do me a, a big old favor and click that subscribe button. Uh, desperately trying to keep the channel still growing. And um, if everybody who watched the show clicked the sub button, I don't know, man, I think like 30 or 40% of you guys who watch don't click sub, and it helps us out tremendously in the algorithm, and it doesn't cost you anything, so hook a brother up with that. And then, again, much love to everybody who supports this show on Patreon or tips through YouTube with the thanks button below or supports Crystal Kyle and friends on Substack. You guys really make all the difference in the world. I've never had a conversation with an advertiser. You guys help build the show from the ground up, and I can't thank you enough for that. And also, by the way, this week we're going to have a awesome debate breakdown show on Crystal Kyle and Friends. It'll be a special debate breakdown, so definitely check us out over on Substack. Link below. All right, let's go ahead and dive into it here. So uh, Ted Cruz loves reminding people that he has a podcast, um, which is kind of hilarious that he's a United States senator, and he seems to care more about podcasting than doing senator stuff. It's actually kind of disturbing, to be honest. You have all this power, and you're like, give me a microphone so I can just blabber all day. Um, I know, glass house, but I'm not a U.S. senator, right? Like, if I was a U.S. senator, I don't think I'd be doing this nearly as much because it's way more serious to be a U.S. senator. Anyway, so here he is. Look, I don't, like, where do these people get this stuff from? He's going to go off on a tangent here about what he thinks is going to happen on the Democratic side in the upcoming election and... Let's listen and we'll react. If it's just the kingmaker saying, nope, we pick you, whoever doesn't get picked, everyone else is pissed. So here's the scenario that I think is perhaps most likely and most dangerous. Most likely. Most likely. Listen. In August of 2024, the Democrat kingmakers jettison Joe Biden and parachute in Michelle Obama. Okay. And I want you to pause and reflect on oh, that. Oh, I'm pausing and I'm reflecting as we, and so is everybody else listening right now. I view this as a very serious danger. <laughs> I'm smiling right now because it terrifies me and I also could totally <laughs> see this happening. So Michelle Obama, number one, you don't infuriate African-American women, which is a critical part of the constituency that Democrats are relying on to win. But number two, you avoid the problem. If you pick from any of the four, the other three are pissed because they're all, to some extent, peers, they're rivals, they're all jabbing knives at each other. Michelle Obama, because she was first lady, has the ability to kind of parachute in above all four and say, hey, we're not picking among any of you. You guys can all fight it out next time. You're all going to be on the same level. We're coming. This is the Obamas saving the day. And I think in terms of a solution that unifies Democrats, there ain't nothing like that. The extent to which he has no idea what he's talking about is immeasurable. <laughs> it is immeasurable. Me and every single liberal and leftist and Democrat I know, every single one does not want Michelle Obama to run or be president. Why? Because nobody knows what she actually believes on the issues. Nobody knows that. She is the wife of the former president, so she's the former first lady. We don't know what she stands for. We don't know what she's going to fight for, what her policy objectives are. The idea is just like, 
It's just like an avatar you throw in there. Like, hey, she has a high approval rating among Democrats. She has a high approval rating for the role that she played. It's a totally different ball game once you're the center of attention and you're the politician who's taking all the heat. He's like, oh, Democrats would love this. How would you know? You are like the furthest thing from a Democrat or a liberal or a leftist. So you're, all, you're just making stuff up. I also think Michelle is not all that eager to run for president. But to parachute in in August of 24, a couple of months before the presidency, and suddenly wake up and be president? Not a bad gig. Not a bad gig. It's not a bad gig at all. Not everybody is as disgustingly power hungry as you, Ted Cruz. He says this because he has a boner for being president, and he always has. He's the smarmiest, smuggest, fakest, weirdest loser of all time, and all he cares about is getting so everything he does is plotting so that eventually one day he can get to the White House. And he is projecting that onto Michelle Obama, who has made clear, I don't want to be president. She saw firsthand what it was like on her husband. You think she wants that? You think she wants to go through that hell? She do it, I don't know. I, 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 I... So why are we talking about this? Why are we talking about it? Here's my theory. Michelle Obama's going to parachute in and save the day for the Democrats. But also, here's my theory. I don't, I don't know if she's uh, going to do it. So why are we talking? You can't say this thing is the thing that's going to happen. And also, I don't know if it's going to happen. <laughs> what is that? Michelle, but I don't know her personally in any meaningful way. I don't know if she would do it. I do think Barack Obama is already running the Biden administration. I think he is already <laughs> the puppet master behind this Biden White House. I don't think Joe Biden is the decision maker. And so when I see the media turning on Joe Biden right now, I think the odds of Michelle Obama parachuting in in August of 2024 have risen dramatically, and that ought to scare the hell out of anyone who, who is unhappy about the direction this country is going and doesn't want us to go even crazier in an even worse direction. How would you know that that's what Michelle Obama would do when nobody even knows what she stands for? You're just making up that she would be further to the left of Biden. By the way, the Obama point drives me crazy. Actually, Obama's running the administration. Have you taken no look at Obama's record versus Biden's record? I got news for you. They're not even remotely similar. Not even close. Obama was much more of a centrist, was much more of a neoliberal and an incrementalist. Biden is significantly to the left of Obama. Virtually across the board. Just take unions, for example. Obama didn't do Dickie McGee's acts on the union front. Biden packed the NLRB with decent people, uh, changed the overtime rule so more people get overtime pay, changed the rule so that now if a boss tries to union bust, the union is automatically recognized. He's about to go pick it with the, with the UAW, going to stand with striking workers in solidarity. He uh, did the infrastructure bill and, and the CHIPS Act and the IRA, which has brought 800,000 manufacturing jobs back to this country when Obama was pushing, pushing for TPP, which would have outsourced even more jobs. Guys, these they're not remotely similar. They're not. Like, if you have that lazy-ass belief, lazy belief, that, well, Obama's running the Biden White House, you simply do not know about either one of their policy records. You have no idea. Because Obama would look at what Biden's doing and secretly be like, damn, he's going a lot further than I did. Biden got more done with a one-seat majority versus Obama who had a super majority. So if, if the policy records aren't remotely similar, I don't know how you can come to the conclusion that Obama's running the show. And also, is there any evidence at all of Obama being in the White House all the time with Joe Biden? Or, you know, talking to people who are in power, or senators or whatever. He hasn't come up at all. It's like, oh, there's this conspiracy to cover it all up or something, bro. Or are you just making stuff up shamelessly? I think we know the answer. You're making stuff up shamelessly. And I can't get through a Ted Cruz segment without... I'm Ted Cruz. Me. I think that Obama is actually running the show. And I think Michelle Obama is going to come save the day and Democrats are going to love it. Me, I'm so good. Me. He also what he's talking about. These people, guys, he's a, he's a U.S. senator. And he spends his time podcasting and making stuff up. That's what this is. What a utter 
waste of a human being. <laughs> and by the way, as time goes by, he morphs more and more into a giant gelatinous blob. <laughs> he's, he's getting heavier, he's getting smugger, and he's getting more annoying. Hey y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.